Welcome to my channel. My name is Rosie O. And today I'm going to show a small team order that I literally just got a couple of minutes ago. I'm not kidding. It's all toasty warm because it's 108 here where I live. <laughs> and if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, hope you enjoy the show. Oh, and if you can, if you can like and subscribe, I'd appreciate that as well. <laughs> and no, really, it's where I live. It's hot. And I, UPS was kind enough to leave it by my door and I got the package and I took everything out and I was like, oh my goodness, everything's hot. So yeah, everything's kind of warm. <laughs> so today what I'm showing is storage. I bought a whole bunch of storage items because A, I need more storage because I'm always about storage. And B, I wanted something a little different because I store my diamonds. So I save well diamonds from pretty much any i have left over from my paintings and i wanted something different for when i get a beats so i do save my ab's as well a lot of them are from diamond art club whether they're round or square and i've seen these little ziploc bags before and apologies for the crinkly nose you're gonna hear a lot of it because i didn't take oops or anything out of the package and i saw that there's this little ring and these really sturdy kind of Ziploc bags and they're they are kind of sturdy they feel a little flimsy now that I look at them but they are kind of sturdy that when I open everything's gonna stay in they remind me of mylar bags which are those if any of y'all bought them, for example diamond painting putty those little fancy bags that have the little holographic kind of effects these kind of remind me of it but these are really really thin they kind of feel like a little pouch huh and this packet I bought, I believe it's 50 of them. <laughs> and, oh, and I'll make sure to put the pricing here in this corner for all the items I'm going to show today. Because, my apologies, I was just so excited to show the, all of this. I didn't look at the prices. <laughs> so, I'll make sure to put them in the corner. But they are nice. And the point of the little ring is, let me whoo, pull that out. You would just kind of loop everything in. And you would have all your diamonds. You just pop it in you see the little clasp here and you would have all your diamonds just hanging out i'm not going to use the little ring i don't i if i thought of it that i would put everything on the ring and just have it hanging so if i need an ab i know oh and i'll grab it but then i would need a whole bunch of different ones for i have diamonds from all different kind of companies so i don't and a whole bunch of rings hanging around and knowing my luck i know i'm gonna pull one and that's why i'm probably gonna save this for another item i'll probably do in the future but i do like the little bags and i'll make sure to do a video when i start moving all of my ab's into these little bags so you can kind of see how they hold up i really do like this item though and i believe it is 50 of them i might say on here no, it does not. Sorry about that. Yeah, I believe they're 50, but I'll make sure. And everything here I'll show today, I'm going to make sure to put the information in the description below so you can see it. And who knows? Maybe the little Ziploc bags are more your style. <laughs> and so the next item I want to show is this. So I've shown one of these little boxes before. I actually have a partial painting I'm working on kitted up with this kind of storage unit. And I'm, st I'm almost done with that part, so I'll make sure to do a review video when I'm done. Sorry about that. Put that aside. And this time they're blue. The last ones I have, sorry, the ones I'm currently using are clear. But I chose blue because I saw it was an option when I purchased it. And Timu was having a lightning deal on these, so I got these on a really good price. And there are 14 of them, which I don't mind. I, since I do so many of my little 20 by 20s, these are such a good size for them, a good number for them. Because usually those paintings are 14. If I see a 15, that's kind of rare. But since I know these are specific 14, I'll make sure to use paintings that have 14 as well. I've seen them in larger sizes, but they're a little bit more pricier. I purchased this one just to, well, it was such a good deal. <laughs> so as you can see, you would just open the little box. And all of these containers, they're kind of snap, but they're really... They're a little tough. <laughs> and I know there's a way to kind of open them, but I usually open them, sorry, that way. And 
yeah and i haven't had any problems i really do love these because it's so much easier to pour the diamonds in especially you have one color that the packet's kind of a little too filled up they're really easy to pour in and they hold a lot of diamonds i thought of buying a whole purchase a they sell these little containers by themselves use them as a storage way of holding all my saved diamonds but i kind of don't want a whole bunch of boxes everywhere and i'm actually changing the way i'm storing my diamonds i'm putting them in the ziploc bags and i'll make sure to show that in another video but they are good for you know, when you're going to kit up and use them for your paintings i really do like them and they're really as i said real easy just to pour the diamonds in and a little sturdy box which i think I might have moved kind of funny <laughs> it's the little latch that's having a problem oh there we go and that's it yeah i haven't with the other box that i'm using i've dropped it a couple times they haven't had any problems none of the boxes inside have opened or the larger box so i do recommend these they're they are really good if you're working on a smaller project let me put this aside real quick sorry about that my table next to me has a bunch of paintings <laughs> <laughs> and the last storage box and don't worry i have a diamond painting i'm showing that at the end <laughs> and this one is my tried and true little suitcase i call them suitcases but that's not what they are they're little storage boxes i don't know the technical term i like calling them suitcases <laughs> Ooh, really sorry about the crinkly noise i got real close to the microphone sorry about that put the bag aside so these I've shown before, and this one as well. I got it for a really good deal, and this is a 60 slot one. Sorry, I'm trying to find where the top is. I believe it's this way, or this way. I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> and I love that they're zippered and everything. And since a lot of these I put, oh, I think it is this way. I put my pens, my putty, my trays and everything, because this has a little pocket in it oh no i was right the first time <laughs> and this is the kit oh my goodness i didn't know it had tools huh i thought it was originally just the tube storage but i love that it has tools as well and this is my favorite for every time we've all seen some kit up videos i've done i love using these for when i'm going to start a bigger painting this is the 60 slot one and as this one as well i'll make sure to put the info below because it was such a good deal and it was really affordable and i did not know that there's a tool bag in here and there are a lot of little accessories in it huh oh my goodness it gets warm so let me put it aside real quick and yeah i really do love these so all you'd really do is open the tubes pour the diamonds in put your labels on it when you're going to use it for putting the diamonds and there you go i love these i actually have a lot of i have some that are 120 they're bigger ones but i haven't really touched them because i haven't done a really really large painting yet luckily <laughs> but i do have some that i plan to do next year so i'll make sure to show those really large ones at a later time majority of the time i use the 60s because oh my goodness i really love these and i do have smaller ones that are 30 but those are for the smaller paintings that are less, like, you can see on the side. It has the total number in the legend, the total number of colors. So I use them, if they're less than 30, I use them in there. But if they're past 30, I use my 60s, and I really, really love them. And so the little tool kit, and, oh, sorry, inside the box, as I said, there's a little pouch. Let me see if I can get that on camera. You can see here, so you can tuck in anything you need. That's why I love these little boxes. As I said, I make sure to put my pens, my trays, everything that I'm going to use. And mostly because I do diamond paint, not just in my craft room, which is this room. Any other rooms in the house, I take them with me. Ooh. So that's why these are a little easier because they have a little handle and you can sl slide it back in. So you can store it real easy. If not, you can pop it out again and take it with you. That's a big fan of them. Oh, this has a lot of items in it. And honestly, I did not know how to tilt it. Because originally the Timu, that's of course where I got it, showed just the description of the box. Didn't mention it. I didn't see any mention of a toolkit. So, huh. But there's no such thing as too many tools. 
<laughs> well, for me anyway. So it includes some labels that you can put on the bottles and some pens as well. Oh, that's multi placers. That's a three, a five, and nine. I want to say nine because I haven't really seen a ten, not in the plastic ones. So I think it's a nine. Apologies, I might have gone off screen. So this is three, five, and nine. Oh no, apologies, six. This is a six. Now that I'm looking at it more. And this is a nine, I believe. That is real cool. And the pens are purple, so that's kind of cute. I kind of like these. And, oh, there's another one. Sorry. And a straightener. I was wondering, isn't there a straightener? Because they always come with straighteners. Yay. I love straighteners, for, especially for my rounds. So I'm a big fan of them. And some plastic tweezers. I really like picking up rounds of these. I have no idea why. They, they work for me whenever I have to move them. Especially on if I already placed them on the painting. It makes it easier for me to pick them up. I know I really am a fan of those. Some Ziploc bags if you need to store any extra diamonds or for any kind of diamond related issues. <laughs> and a smaller tray, our standard tray. Ooh, this one's a sturdy one as well. It's a little thicker plastic and it's purple. So I kind of like that. And our wax, which is really warm. It's a little soft. I love that it's purple. And I've been finding, I've been using a lot of the standard wax. And I found whether it's blue or purple, when it kind of dries, even if it's on the diamond, I you don't see it. it it's weird. It kind of dries clear. So I've been saving a lot of the purples and blues when I see it. And sometimes our traditional pink doesn't really kind of stay clear but i do love these <laughs> and you can even see the wax is kind of clear so it kind of makes sense and our large tray oh i've never got one of these in purple uh sorry the spout one usually i get them in white so i'm really excited i got a purple one i think i'll use this tray next it's kind of nice i like it and our little tube so i already have a funnel that i love using over and over and over it's the only funnel i use it's my little blue one I've never received a purple one. Oh, this is neat. So my usual little funnel is kind of a little wider on the little spout part. But this one's really thin. Huh. Maybe we should try this one. It's... And you just put it in the tube and boop. And there you go. Pour your diamonds. But since it's kind of... Well, it looks a little more focused, as you can see. Since it's a little thinner, it's a little bit more focused when it's pouring through. Huh. In my next kit up, I think I'll try this little funnel. It is real interesting. Never seen one with a little spout like that. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> and the larger straightener. If y'all were wondering what... I At first time I saw this, I had no idea what it was. I was like, how come there's a... <laughs> a little... It reminds me of a snow... An ice scraper. Like, when you get ice on your windshield, that's what I thought of. That's not what it is. <laughs> it's a larger straightener, so I use it for rounds. My squares, I haven't done the straightener. I don't think it would... Well, unless they're really crooked, but I've never had that issue. But then I haven't done a lot of squares, so there you go. <laughs> but I do use these for rounds, and they're really good for pushing. Especially if you have kind of a larger painting and you have a large section. You kind of want to fix them a bit. These are really good for that. I really do like this. And that's all you would really do. And then you would just put them back in the bag. And then put everything back real quick. I put them back in the plastic bag. But I know I'm going to use some of these. And I kind of have a painting I have in mind to kit up. But I'm holding off on it. Oops, sorry. I dropped it. I have, since I'm working on so many paintings. But when I do do the kit up, I'll make sure to show this case again. And as I've said, I'll make sure to put the price here in the corner. And the information for in case you're, you're interested in this kind of size. I'll make sure to put the info in the description below. So you can purchase a nice suitcase that's for yourself. <laughs> so let me just zip everything up. Apologies for the noise. And I think since... Oh, there we go. See? And how simple it is. That's all you gotta do. And then you just get the handle and ta-da! Just walk away. <laughs> so let me put this over here. Oops, sorry. And my last item. So, this painting. Oh my goodness, this painting. So, I showed a, sta a Timu haul ooh, a couple weeks ago that I accidentally ordered a painting that wasn't a diamond art painting. It was an acrylic painting. So, it's a paint by number. 
and it had this image and I really, really wanted the image, but I didn't notice in my excitement and in my hurry, put in the cart, I purchased it, ta-da, waited. And when I received it, that's when I saw, ooh, it's on a diamond art. And it's mostly because I wanted this image. And luckily with all of my waiting and searching, I actually found the diamond painting for that wonderful flower image I loved. So I'm a big, big fan of that. And I'm so happy I found it. And as you all know, it always comes with the standard kit and our wonderful diamonds. And oh my goodness, I love that dark blue. I love all these colors. I actually saw them, well, when I saw the painting, I actually seen somebody complete this painting. So that's why I'm a big fan of it. And when I saw the diamonds, I knew they were just gonna be so, so pretty. There's a real nice purple, nice blue, nice little peach. Of course, my peach is always there. Oh, I really love these. Let me see if I can get them a little closer on camera and see if I can get it to focus. Oops, sorry about that. And there we go. As you can see, all the colors, even the ones hidden inside. Oh my goodness, I really love these. They're so pretty. Ooh, I really do want to work on this painting. <laughs> and so this is the painting. Sorry, it's curling up a bit, but I did that. There, I always forget i want to say hydrangeas but i don't think that's what they are and if anybody kind of knows what the actual name of this flower is please leave it in a comment below because it's really really kind of throwing me off what the name is because i've seen two different names for them and i don't know if one's an actual name or the other one is just a nickname people call the flower but i love these and i've seen them in real life i've seen them in bouquets i've seen them in gardens i love these flowers just can never remember the name. Keep wanting to say hydrogenous, but I don't think that's what it is. <laughs> I'm just fixing the plastic again. Sorry, I'm just fixing the plastic. As you can see, this painting is really, really curled up and really toasty because it's really, it's still really warm. I feel it. And I'll probably leave it out just to let it cool. There we go. It's not that hot that it'll actually I believe, damage the glue or anything with the painting, but still, I kind of want to keep it cool. I actually do want to kit up this painting because I've been waiting for it forever. <laughs> Sorry about that. And some information about the painting. It is DQ, not Dairy Queen, 150, 30 by 30, and it is 18 colors. Oh, not bad. And the legend is all capital letters. Oh my goodness, I love these colors. And now I really want to go to DQ. <laughs> Sorry about that. I love their ice cream, so I now I kind of want ice cream. And yeah, I love this painting. And it was such a journey to find it. And I still have the poor acrylic painting, which I do plan to do because I've done pink by numbers, but that's a whole another whole another chapter I have to take care of in another episode. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that's all i wanted to show today mostly i wanted to show the storage because i know there's there's a lot of painters out there that still are trying to get comfortable on what kind of storage they want to use for especially s saving their diamonds or using them for when they paint i've seen it i had the same struggle when i first started diamond painting i couldn't figure out what i wanted to do and i've done everything i've done the ziploc bags i've done the packets I've done the little tubes, I've done, I've done everything, and I decided in the end the tubes are the ones that work for me. And everyone has different tastes, and you'll decide on what you like. <laughs> and oh my goodness, I have so many PR packages coming in, so don't worry, there are going to be a lot more different diamond paintings from different companies. I just have to wait for them. But I'm so excited because some of them are so, so pretty, and I cannot wait to get those. <laughs> and yeah. So if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, I'll ask you if you can do the usual. If you can like and subscribe, I really appreciate that as well. It really helps the channel out and it really gives me the opportunity to show all of these types of items for diamond painters out there. <laughs> and again, thank you for your time and have yourself a wonderful day. Thank you.